Hello people, Mongoose again, and today I thought I'd play a game with you that I've been playing quite a bit recently, it's Shinobi 3, and yeah, I've been really enjoying it, so I thought I'd do something different and just play a bit of games with you, and just, you know, see what you thought, and if people enjoy it, I might do some more, go further into the game, and then maybe play some more games um, that I enjoy in the future. Yeah, so this is Shinobi 3, and it's like the first couple of stages, and I'm just enjoying playing it, so I thought I'd share it with you. Thanks very much. Enjoy, people. Right then, let's play some Shinobi, Return of the Ninja Master. Three. <laughs> you gotta love that intro music though. Great intro. But I'm not always with it. We'll get started with the game. Round one, Z Resurrection. Now, uh, I wouldn't say this was like the hardest Shinobi game I've played, not that I've played them all, but um, I've played a good few of them, and this is definitely not the, the hardest one, but it's fun, which ultimately is the most important thing really, isn't it? Oop. And yeah, I mean, as you'd say, graphically, it's, it's really, really good. And as far as sound goes as well, brilliant soundtrack. And just, yeah, overall just a really fun game to play. And satisfying. Obviously enemies explode in this game, which is always brilliant as well. I love when in games enemies don't just die, but they explode. Oh, get away that dynamite. So much more satisfying. Wait, what are you doing, Pat? There we go. Oh. Made a meal of that, didn't I? Well, I'm on my way to the, the mid level boss. There's a couple of these guys. Locked in here with a mid level boss. The only difference with him is his attack goes across and then it. Oop, bollocks. <laughs> It'll go back across the screen as you can see there. But ultimately, he's really easy to kill and he just explodes like all the rest of them. Another good thing about the game is you can actually, you know, shoot your ninja stars, shoo, whatever they're called, while you're hanging, which is always handy in a game, like, definitely. Not worse than being caught vulner uh, vulnerable when you're, you know, hanging, trying to get across an obstacle. Oh, he planned that then. He wanted me to get exploded by that dynamite. How very well there, he. Oh, the old double jump mechanic. Sorry, I was making a meal of that yesterday, like I was making it a hard on myself. It took us ages to get up there. But then I sussed it out. Yeah, I've been playing quite a bit of this recently, like... Trying to beat it, getting frustrated at a certain part. Hey, I'm sure I'll uh, share that with you when I get to that point. What is it with spikes in games? Generic obstacle that'll kill you. Spikes. Oh, what do you get? Oops, some help. I'm gonna some of that. Oh, and here's the boss. And um, pretty simple, you just do a dash, jump our room, tap him in the back, wait for him to retaliate with that, jump our room. Unsuccessful that time, and then just rinse and repeat that. It's actually really easy. So, it's all in the timing. Strike them up. 
nothing too taxing for the you know the first level boss so cool oh well, mate you're taking for ages I'm bloody on you I'm trying to kill you and you're just hanging about chilling in the background I should have just used uh, like the power on the electric electricity but you didn't really need it. You just kill them like this. It's just a bit monotonous. What's he playing at? Dude, I've had enough of him. I've had enough of your shit, pal. Come here. Look how I'm all on electricity and stuff. Get him. Why is this taking so bloody long, like? I think it's because uh, we ninja star things. There we go. And a massive 16 bit explosions. Excellent. Round one clear. Happy days. Read. Round two. Secret entry. I don't like the sounds of that, like. Oh my god, and I'm on a horse. In all fairness, it's actually a really, really fun level. And I love all the parallax scrolling that's going on. Is that the right term? All the mountains in the background and foreground scrolling at different rates. Just giving like a real depth to the picture. And yeah, this level can get a bit tricky. Guys, I think they're dropping down all them kites in the background to be honest with you. I thought they looked like kites. I don't know how they're dropping from kites, but uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Come on. I want to shoot them obstacles on the ground. these guys I'm waiting for the music to change and then when that's gonna get real there we go and what these blokes will do is we'll drop some I'm assuming that spears into the ground and you've got to jump over them and attack them that was very unsuccessful anyway there we go and that's what you're meant to do For some reason, I don't have much luck with that, like, up and over, that's right. It's just placing yourself in the right part of the screen, and it's all about timing, as is so often the case with these games. Impatience, of course. And he explodes eventually. 